In this example, we want to find the vertex and graph uh, the quadratic function shown here, y is equal to f of x is equal to minus x squared minus 4x plus 2. Uh, so we know that this is a quadratic function because the formula for this function fits the format uh, for the formula uh, for quadratic functions. Uh, in particular, uh, we can see that this is a quadratic function because the input variable x is squared uh, in the formula uh, for this uh, uh, function, and that's characteristic of the formulas for uh, quadratic functions. Well, the graph of uh, quadratic functions uh, has a characteristic shape. Uh, it's a curve known as a parabola, which is a U-shaped curve. Um, and now that U-shaped curve may open up, or that U-shaped curve may open down, uh, but uh, in either case, we're going to get a, a, a parabola-shaped curve uh, when we graph this uh, function. Uh, so that gives us a lot of information prior to trying to make the graph of the function because we already have some idea uh, of what the curve is going to look like. Now, uh, usually it's helpful if you're graphing a parabola, a quadratic function, uh, to find what's called, uh, to start by finding what's called the vertex uh, of the function, of the quadratic function. And the vertex is going to be uh, the high point or the low point uh, on the uh, graph of the quadratic function. Remember, again, uh, the graph is going to be a U-shaped curve that might be opening up, it might be opening down. Uh, so it's going to have either a high point or a low point, depending on how the uh, parabola is opening. And that high or low point is called the vertex. So uh, let's start uh, by finding the vertex of this uh, uh, quadratic function um, in order to construct the graph. Uh, now, there are a couple of ways to find the vertex of a quadratic function, but one way is to use uh, a formula. There's actually a formula you can use uh, to find the vertex of a quadratic function. So I've got this formula written uh, here, and we're going to apply this formula. So here's the formula for finding the coordinates of the vertex of a parabola of a quadratic function. Now, applying this uh, uh, formula requires you to know the coefficients of the terms in the formula, uh, for the quadratic function. Uh, the leading coefficient, uh, which is referred to as a, that's the coefficient of the x squared term. Uh, the uh, second coefficient, uh, which is uh, usually referred to as b, that's the coefficient of the x to the first power term in the formula. And then the constant coefficient uh, c, uh, which is uh, uh, the constant coefficient uh, c, uh, which uh, represents the constant term uh, in the formula. Let's write down what those uh, three coefficients are for this uh, particular uh, quadratic function. So the leading coefficient, uh, the coefficient of the x squared term uh, is minus one. Uh, the second coefficient, again, which we usually refer to as b, that's the coefficient of the x to the first power term, uh, that's minus four. And then the constant coefficient, which we refer to as c, uh, that's the constant in the formula, which in this case is um, minus two. So let's plug these values into our vertex formula so we can find the coordinates of the vertex for this uh, parabola. So according to our formula, the x coordinate of the vertex is going to be minus b, so that's minus a minus four. b here is minus four. Uh, over two times uh, the leading coefficient a, uh, which in this case is minus uh, one. So for our x uh, 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 coordinate of our vertex, we get uh, four uh, divided by uh, negative two. And of course that simplifies to minus two. Now to find the y coordinate of the vertex, all we have to do then is take that x coordinate and plug it into our uh, function formula as, as input. So in other words, I'm going to calculate f of minus 2 uh, to find the y coordinate uh, of the vertex. Let's do that on the next line here. So that is going to be um, minus a minus 2 squared. Again, I'm just plugging minus 2 uh, in for input into my uh, uh, quadratic function formula. Minus 4 times uh, minus 2. And then uh, let's subtract that constant, which is part of the... Uh, formula. So let's see, we get minus 4 and then plus 8 and then um, uh, minus 2 and I think I wrote the formula down wrong, that's supposed to be plus 2 so my C coefficient is actually plus 2 
And so we end up here with um, uh, minus 4 plus 8, which is 4, plus 2, which is 6. So there's the y coordinate of our um, vertex. And so if I take out, remove all the ar intervening arithmetic here and calculating the vertex, uh, the two coordinates of my vertex here are minus 2 and uh, 6. So that's going to be um, either the high or low point. Uh, on the uh, graph of my quadratic function on my parabola. So I know when x is minus 2, the matching y value is going to be 6. Or in other words, my parabola is going to pass through the point minus 2 and 6. Let's plot that point. It's right about here uh, on the rectangular coordinate system. Uh, now, of course, this single point by itself is not enough to uh, construct the graph of this uh, parabola. We need a few more points. So um, to generate a few more points, I'm just going to plug in some more values for x, some more uh, input values for x into my uh, function formula. And I've already chosen a couple of those and calculated them, so I'm not going to go through the calculations here. Uh, it's easy to find, uh, for instance, uh, the matching output when x is 0. That's, of course, the y-intercept. Uh, so that's going to be 2. Uh, if you plug 0 in for x in this formula, the matching y value uh, will be 2. Um, if you plug uh, 2 into this formula uh, for x, uh, you can go through the calculations. Uh, the matching y value will turn out to be uh, minus 10. Uh, likewise, if you plug, say, uh, minus 4 uh, into this formula, uh, the matching y value is going to kind of turn out to be 2 again. And if you plug minus 6 into this formula, uh, the matching y value, uh, if you calculate it, it's going to uh, turn out to be minus 10. So there are five points at least, including the vertex, uh, on the um, graph of my uh, parabola. All right, let's plot those points. So 0, 2 would be here. Uh, 2 minus 10 is going to be way down here. Um, so there's three points on the graph. Um, minus 4 and 2 right here, and then uh, minus 6 and minus 10 uh, way down here. So you can see those uh, points indeed appear to fall on a U-shaped curve. Um, this parabola is going to be opening downward, so in this case my vertex is going to be the high point on the curve. So let's connect uh, these points, or let's try to connect these points as best we can with the U-shaped curve. Now this is going to be a little bit messy by hand. Um, if we had a calculator or a computer drawing this graph, we'd get a much nicer picture. Oh, but that's not too bad. So there's uh, the graph of my uh, quadratic function. Again, this U-shaped curve, this parabola-shaped uh, curve. And here's the vertex at uh, minus 2 uh, and 6.